How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van. Corpses are meant to be partied with and welcome to Corpse Party Blood Drive. Do you recognize that song? Ding, ding, oh, hey, hey I, I was listening to that. I, I was listening. Corpse Party Blood Drive. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna bring this to the channel, but I really wanted to. And I'm gonna risk, you know, all that kind of copyright stuff, whatever. We'll see what happens. Um, so I guess new chapter, it's kind of in the same format as Book of Shadows is then, where it'll go in chapters. And then you start each chapter, and each chapter is very, like, self-contained. You know, following along the same story. But anyways, okay, whatever. Um, let's go new chapter, chapter zero, zero. Let's just start. Chapter zero, a faint light. This is very prologue-ish. Now remember, this game uh, follows where Book of Shadows Chapter 8 ends. Everything else in Book of Shadows didn't really mean much. It was in like an alternate universe, but this follows right where Chapter 8 leaves off, because Chapter 8 uh, was called Blood Drive in Book of Shadows, right? And all that crazy stuff happened, like they summoned Mayu back, um, but it was like a deformed version of her, and it was everything was super messed up. I was probably gonna recap this like right now. Yeah. God, I love those screams. I'm gonna rate those screams. Ayumi, your scream. You gotta put a little more oomph into it as your first scream of the game, but I'm gonna give it like a 5 out of 10. Ayumi, oh, oh yeah, her sister ran in, right, and stopped it and protected them, but she died. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that! How can you forget something like that? There we go. That's a bit better scream, Ayumi. I'm gonna give you about a 7 out of 10. You can do a bit better, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm so bad. Oh, that's happy. It had been two months since the Book of Shadows incident. I'd been critically wounded by the blowback from the sorcery I'd involved myself with, but Nakashima was there to carry me out from the crumbling Shinozaki estate. The two of us were picked up on the side of the old mountain road and rushed to a hospital where I was restored to stable condition. That text goes really slow. I mean, if I can read up to that text when I'm reading out like a storybook, that's slow. The grimoire responsible for so much of the horror everyone had been through, the Book of Shadows was buried in the rubble of the estate when its roof collapsed. <laughs> Yeah, the five of them were returned, which was... God, I gotta remember all these names. Um, well, let me just announce the ones who died. Morishige in the top right, Mayu in the bottom right, Seiko... Oh, Seiko, I can't believe you died. In the bottom left. And then that's it, and then there was... No, four... Then the teacher died, Yui. Yeah, because Yui's not in this picture right here. And Yui died as well. Yui's awesome, too. I loved her backstory in Book of Shadows, Chapter 3. That was really cool. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> no, guys, don't do it! No, I, oh god! Oh, I really hope you guys did it right. Did we do it right? Yeah, well, I, I, you, why do you guys want to get spirited away? Why? Yeah, exactly. You're playing with fire, you're gonna get so burned. Oh, and I'm gonna love it. And I'm gonna rate your screams 10 out of 10 when you get ripped apart. That's sick. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, you'll always be together in death. That's great. Yeah, because you'll always forever roam heavenly host. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. So everything erased then. Yeah, but I wonder what happened to the people there. Is it just like the portal's gone so you can still go to Heavenly Host? Um, but like with the Sachiko charm, you can't get there. That might be it. Yep. Yeah. They certainly were. And everyone was like, <laughs> Why do you have all those pictures with black faces on them? And yeah, that's... That's too bad. It's hard to explain. Like, why why did you mark up your pictures with felt? Yeah, she's going nuts. Because no one believes her, obviously. Oh, 
Okay, um, so I'm not gonna read the lines that have voice acting to them. Um, but the voice is really low. That's weird. Oh! That's loud. No, because it, you're just trying to numb me. She needs Satoshi there. Okay, the voices are so low. I got it. Yeah, hell on earth. That's crazy. But where can I change these voices? S -s -s sister oh, I was hoping she'd say Satoshi, but not. Even though Yoshiki is, like, her romance. Yeah, that's right. You certainly were. You played with fire, you got burned. Did you really expect to bring them back from the dead? That's... Ugh. But you know what's gonna happen is she's gonna play with fire some more. That's good. Yeah, but you gotta press forward. Maybe you'll see them one day, okay? Shinozaki. Oh, Satoshi! Hey! Oh, it's all of them! All the survivors! They're all together. Yeah, they're all in high spirits. As high as they can be. Yeah. Yay, hey Naomi. I was starting to actually like you at the end of Book of Shadows, surprisingly. Yeah, I know, it's sad. But don't worry, we got your back. Well, we'll be there for you to go through some more hardships, because obviously something horrific is gonna happen anytime now. Oh, hey, I can walk around. Oh, God, I like how it looks. It's like 3D, but still like RPG horror style, you know? Oh, that, oh that's gonna be cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I've missed your voice, Yoshiki. You're the best. Yeah. Say you love each other. Say it. Say, uh, I stay do. I stay do. I didn't know my feelings until now. Okay, fine. Yeah, still like Satoshi then. No, don't talk to Satoshi, okay? You're not supposed to love him. <laughs> You're not supposed to. <laughs> I love how I dictate their lives. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, jeez. Okay, don't slap your mic. Oh, you. Oh, Yuka looks like she's still severely traumatized from it. Understandably, she's the youngest. Yeah. Be strong for Yuka. Exactly. Ayuma's Ayuma. <laughs> Ayumi's being strong for Yuka. I know. Ayuma. Okay, where do I go? Should I just like go in? Like, yeah. Hmm. Even here in the real world. Uh, oh, what? Tell me. What's gonna happen? <laughs> if only you knew the things that some of the, some other high school students went through at Heavenly Host, you wouldn't be singing that. <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh oh. Yeah, you're screwed. 
No, it's not Mama. Mama doesn't kick doors open like that, okay? Don't go- Oh no! Why- Why would you go? To the door that suddenly opened. Oh, you're so dead. I'm just gonna laugh. I'm sorry. You're playing with fire. You don't start singing Sachiko ever after, okay? Don't do it. Please. Oh! Holy crap! I was like, what? Why is she jump- Oh, no, she's- she's not jumping. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, holy shit! She just got snapped! Oh my god! This is starting out with a bang! Sachiko's gone though, that can't be. Who in the hell is it then? I refuse to believe that Sachiko. That's a cool sounding song. 5pp. The fire powered of games. Team Chris Chris gonna bring it to you now. Oh. 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 Yeah. Heavy guitar, heavily hosed. I play the guitar when I snap people's necks and people die, 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 die. Okay, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! I, who are you? We're gonna meet her at some point. It's gonna be great. She looks like the bad one! She has longer hair though. The bad one had short black hair. The ghost. I killed or whatever. Aw, oh, he looks evil. You gotta cover up a little bit. You'll get really chilly in Heavenly Host, I think. Whoa! She... The one, the ghost had short hair, maybe she... I don't even know. Okay, let's just keep my speculation to myself for now. It's just intro anime, we have no idea what's going on. This song is really cool though, I really like it. Horrific mystery. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be so awesome. The music in Court 40 always is absolutely fantastic, though. I never really have to worry. I got a trophy! Should really turn those notifications off. I've never recorded on my Vita, so I really haven't had to turn the notifications off. Yeah. Rin Sakuma had a broken spine, and she, like, had a big pool of blood underneath her. She got, like, literally almost ripped in half. Hey, school was great. No one believed me about my missing classmates, and you guys all think I'm crazy. Life's great, Mom. <laughs> yeah, that's, I know, a cutting tool. Woof. I wasn't doing some crazy secret ritual, Mom. Well,. I'm wondering, so the sister didn't die in Heavenly Host, but she died, so people still remember her then. Yeah. Mommy, don't push me. Oh, Hinoe, disappearing like always, she's friggin... She's friggin' dead. But they remember who she is, so she didn't die in Heavenly Host, she just died protecting Ayumi. Ouch. Well, you know what, Ayumi? You know what we gotta do? We gotta go do some other crazy ritual to get her back, and then we're just gonna compound the effects that we've been doing so far. That's great. Jeez. It's not gonna help. Wow, 
Ow! Don't hurt yourself that- Jeez, Ayumi. You still have people that understand you. There's four others out there that understand you, okay? She made a really loud thud on that wall. Seriously, you try punching the wall and making a loud thud like that. It won't happen. Must have been pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, your Onechan's dead. Ayumi, let me let me help you, okay? Why is your Onechan dead? Because of you. There, did that help? <laughs> I'm so I'm so bad, okay. <clears throat> Oh no, why do we- does it have to play out in your memory once more? I've already been tortured enough by- it. Yeah, your sister's barfing tomato juice all over you. It's not good. That was choke sob. I rate that 7 out of 10. That's pretty good. As the first quake rippled through the basement of the Shinozaki estate, leaving it teetering on the edge of collapse. Worse still, the whole place was in flames. You know, his lifeless body appeared as if shimmering in the fire's light, red glinting off of red around the edges of the blades that were rapidly sluicing... Sluicing or flesh? Slicing or sluicing? I thought sluicing was like detective work, okay. They danced around and threw her almost whimsically, prompting unnatural gyrations throughout her body without ever letting her so much as touch the ground. <laughs> I grabbed on Hinoi's body in the vain attempt to pull her to safety, but Hinoi used what little strength she had left to push me back. Oh my god, look, that's like, it's, her head's just blood. I could distinctly hear these words in the back of my head spoken in a soft, soothing voice. It was short-lived, however, as the ceiling suddenly became webbed with cracks and fissures and a massive beam fell from above, crushing her upper body entirely. With this, I shot to my feet and began running in circles, screaming uncontrollably. I would have run right into the readily spreading fire if Naomi hadn't caught me. My hands and feet were covered in red bruises and cuts from the swarm of blades that my spell had summoned. Naomi was bleeding as well, but nowhere near as badly. <laughs> We got we got to get out of here. Oh my god, what a beautiful scene. Yeah, she was right. That was really smart of you guys. Mm -hmm. I was right. That was really smart of you guys. And did it work? Did it work, Ayumi? Tell me what happened next. Ouch. I hope I'm not going too fast because whenever there's voice acting, you gotta read. You did. But punching the wall's not gonna solve anything. No, no, hitting that is the scissors are bad. Oh my god, stop it! Oh, you, you, no, you're not responsible for every. Oh, well, you did start the Sachiko Ever After Charm. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ayumi, it's not your fault, okay? You didn't know? And your sister saved you so that you could live on a nice, happy life. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? My mom said to never run with scissors, and you're taking that to the next level, Ayumi. I don't like it. Um, you're not helping. Whoever you are, mysterious voice. Who in the hell are you? Oh, sorry, I gotta read this. There's no voice acting anymore. 
<laughs> With one shoe on my desk and sporting a rare open mouth version of a shit-eating grin, a boy wearing a black parka was just somehow there in my room without explanation. Yeah, she's not. She's just, uh, she's just being a little whiny. She'll get over it. <laughs> a little whiny. <laughs> well, she won't actually kill herself. She's just venting her anger on herself. And how in the hell did you get in here? Oh, God. That's not the right thing to say, Mr. Parka Man. You're not supposed to say, ah, oh, you're not going to do it. You can do it. Yeah, that's that's not helping. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh my god. That's... Well, I guess, you know, if she does end it all, she would spare herself from this suffering, which living to her is suffering now. There you go, you fucktard. Yeah, good, let's just do it, you fucktard. That's... you're really good at motivational speeches, Mr. Parkerman. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Wow, you're nobody. That's cool. You're really informative. You're not gonna kill yourself. I'm nobody. Bye! Woo! Hmm. Without a word, he motioned for me to put my hand out and unceremoniously plopped a piece of 10 yen gum into it. The boy smiled with a cold yet oddly kind expression, then finally took his leave by jumping out the window. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Mysterious park man came in and said, you're not gonna kill yourself. <laughs> you fucked hard. Have some gum. I'm out. <laughs> what? Wow, okay. Oh, God. All I could do was stand there and sob. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be some significance to that gum at some point. There better be. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, let's go visit her. Yoshiki, you're the best. Oh, hey, Parker man, you asshole. Give me some gum. Yeah, and... and he's kind of dumb. Yeah, you repent your sins by not getting anyone else into trouble for the rest of your life. That's how. You don't start dabbling in black magic again, please. I have a feeling that more people are gonna die. I seem to remember this classroom. Uh. Wow, see, they're in a high enough spirits, as high as they can be, anyways. They're just like, ah, Morishige was kind of creepy, anyways, whatever. Yeah, it's much better than Heavenly Host, I gotta say. Oh, and they're having some. Maybe they're gonna have a serious bromance moment. That'd be cool. Satoshi times Yoshiki. That's the new ship. Oh my god. Yoshiki, today.時間あったから揚げ物にした。相変わらず何でも作れるな、お前は。俺んちは昨日の残り物とかだよ。多分。Be like, you know, Naomi. Satoshi's like, Naomi's kind of difficult. And Yoshiki's like, yeah, I like Ayumi, but she's kind of difficult too. Let's just have each other. First world problems. <laughs> wow, it's all gone, isn't it? Oh my god, that's scarier than Heavenly Host. For bread or something, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's that's horrific.
あらこんなところでごはんなの今日は晴れてるし一層おいしく食べられそうねはいあえっと確かにわにわくおん先生にわくおん先生 That's new This was our class's TA, Miss Kuan Niwa, age 24. She was an English teacher with white hair, blue eyes, and a soft, delicate voice. Yui learned English too, didn't she? Yeah, the other, the teacher that died in the first game. Okay, so she replaced Yui? What? Okay. So, you know what? She's off. She's got a creepy amulet like off her neck. That means something. Oh my god. I can already tell something's gonna happen with her. Come on. You don't just sport an amulet like that. I don't know. Filling the exact same role. Yeah. yeah she replaced Yui. Yui was the English teacher as well. Yeah, no doubt. I understand that. Satoshi kun, gohan ga nai no? Look at her, look at even her little folder she has. It's all, it's like purple and velvety looking. She just, something's up. No, she looks super creepy. Uh, she's gonna be creepy. She's too kind. It's like overly kind, you know? It's your favorite food. Katsudon? Katsudon! Donkatsu. In Korean, it's called Donkas. In Japanese, Donkatsu or Katsu Don. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> English. Yay, language lessons. Fun. What? She's actually gonna get it though, because she's super kind. But her kindness is gonna be too much. So something is suspicious. I'm suspicious of everyone. Oh, hey, why aren't you talking anymore? Okay, but you should probably hurry it up. I mean, lunch has already started, so I doubt they have a whole lot left at this point. Oh crap, you're right. Wait, right, right here, right here, I'll be back. Hold the circle button while moving to sprint. Sprinting gradually drains your stamina. If you run out completely, you won't be able to move again for a short time. Oh, that's cool! We're gonna have to use that in Heavenly Host. Or wherever we're going. Your stamina will recover whenever you're not sprinting. However, so be sure to slow down every now and again. I will, because ghosts will get me. Wee! I can run! Yay! That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be handy. There's gonna be some intense action scenes. So, hey, what? Oh, he went there. I, I didn't make it. Open up. My eyes shone upon meeting those of the magnificent golden fry trim. See, he's feeding him. Open up. He's like, um, thanks, Yoshiki. What? Why is there a helicopter? What? You don't see that at school every day. Mochida Satoshi Sama, this man. What? 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 The man in black handed over a liqueur box containing pork cutlet on rice with egg. Picture perfect in every way. It was my favorite meal down to the last detail. What the hell? Yoshiki utterly dumbfounded, loosened his grip on the fried shrimp he was holding. It plummeted to the ground, defeated by this new contender. <laughs> you can't compete with that, Yoshiki. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Yoshiki's always defeated. He always wants to show his gratitude and his kindness. Yeah, was what is she indeed? Okay, um, now I'm suspicious of her for different reasons. That was just <laughs> that was weird. And who are you? You're in a priestess outfit. All these new characters, huh? The classroom glowed with the golden hue of twilight, but my gaze was fixed at the floor. It must have been obvious to Nakashima that I had a lot on my mind. 
She asked this as she sat down at the desk in front of me. Facing backwards, she was trying to comfort me. But she had dark circles around her eyes, too. She and I must have looked very similar to one another from an outside perspective. My left hand was still wrapped in bandages. It throbbed... Sorry. It throbbed incessantly, reminding me of the previous night's events. I ignored it as best I could and forced an empty smile. I couldn't bring myself to answer that. I just flashed another smile, a confusing one that must have looked very strange to her, and left the classroom. Yeah, we should. Yeah, but knowing Ayumi, she's gonna, she's gonna be like, you know what? I have a good idea. Or knowing Ayumi, not Naomi. Did, what did I say? Anyways, knowing Ayumi, she's gonna be like, I had a good idea. There's this crazy ritual book that we can bring everyone back to life if I use, and I'll just reverse everything, and then we're gonna cause big problems. It's not gonna be good. Ayumi, don't do that, please. As I walked, I thought back to my time in the hospital. I was lying in bed, arms and legs virtually mummified in bandages, when a woman with flowers came in to see me. Oh, Yama, Yamamura, okay. There's so many new characters, I gotta remember these names. Hi. <gasps> Have we heard that? あなたのお姉ちゃん、As she said this, she placed a bouquet of flowers on the small table by the bed and looked around the room with a curious expression on her face. Yeah, they don't know about Hinoe's death. They don't know. So she let Yamamura know. Okay. Well, the spirit. Screw you, spirits! I don't want to know when I'm gonna die. That'd be terrible. She really was. I'm waiting for Yamamura to freak out, being like, She was my best friend! Okay. No, she won't do that. Yamamura seems nice. Tears begin to pour from my eyes, and I can do nothing to stop them. I had been sitting up in bed, but unconsciously started to curl into a fetal position as best as I could with the bandages. Yamamura put her hand on my back to comfort me. Okay. I totally don't believe you, Yamamura. I don't think you know he would do that. Oh, please go back and get the Book of Shadows, please. You know that thing that like made me die. I, I, I don't know. Yamamura, I don't trust you. Okay. Well, maybe I do. But I mean, the book is like lost in some other dimension somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys are. Just because you wear white clothes, you can't just say I'm a white witch, okay? I, oh my god, I almost dropped the controller. Okay. Okay. 
Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Well, we, because we solve puzzles to get it and stuff, because we're smart. Yamura looked directly into my eyes. Anata ya Shinozaki yo shiye to onaji. Shinozaki ke no chizuji no kata ga sunde ita no wa shitte iru kashira. Okay, so someone else is the Shinozaki bloodline. Who? Yamura pulled a notepad from her pocket and carefully wrote a name and address on the top sheet. She then tore the page and handed it to me. Makina Shinozaki. Makina. I knew that name. It was on the family tree. Yeah, because we saw the family tree uh, where we found the Book of Shadows in the Yoshi Yoshie estate. Well, the Shinozaki estate. Okay. Yoshie's mother's younger sister, Yoshie's aunt. So no Makina san no yeni keba. Nanika kuro no hongo torimodos tameno. Off to the Makina house we go! Oh, yeah, this is. Okay. <laughs> Yamamura, you're totally using us. I know it. She couldn't get in there because there was probably like a protective spell put up so that these like white witches, these white witches couldn't get in or something. Or maybe I'm just being suspicious of everyone, because that's what I do. And with that, Yamamura simply turned and left the hospital room. Uh, Ayumi, don't believe everything. Oh, uh, who are you? This is the one who doesn't wear much clothes and walks around. It, well, from the intro, anyways. On the other side of the door, Peculiar Girl stood and wait. As soon as Yamamura had covered enough distance to put me out of earshot, the two of them spoke. Gokuro-sama. I knew it. I see. It's just it was so obvious. Yamuda ran away as quickly as she could without drawing attention to herself, as if in response, the intimidating girl in the peculiar outfit spat on the hospital wall. As she mumbled these words, she sneaked a sidelong glance at me in my room. I was completely oblivious. Who in that? Just because you wear white too, you're not a... You're not a white witch. Oh my god. Yeah, let's be used. Okay, so we went to the Makina residence. I don't know what- Okay, oh, so I gotta read this. It was time to meet my fate. I had no trouble locating the Makina's residence. I don't know what I was expecting, but what I found was just an ordinary apartment building. I couldn't involve Mochita and the others in this. They'd been through enough already. They would totally back you up, Ayumi! They would back you up in an instant before you went and put yourself in danger. Besides, this was a family matter. My bloodline was responsible for this whole mess, so it was only right that I'd be the one to make amends alone. That's scary. But you got balls, Ayumi. I mean... You got fortitude. <laughs> That's... I shouldn't say balls. Well, the things are creepy already. Luckily, there's a candle here where I can save my game. Whenever you see a candle on the map, you can examine it to restore your HP and save your game. I wonder if HP is going to have a critical role in this game. Imagine so. I will save my data. Okay. Is there anything? What? Oops, I, I went ran away. I didn't mean to run away. Oh, I know what it probably was. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary. Oh, the front door is probably locked. Oh no! Is it someone or something? That's what I want to know. 
When a person gets truly startled, she's unable to... When a person gets truly startled... A person, do you mean Ayumi? She's unable to move due to the combination of fear and, well, being put on the spot. It's like she's been planted to the ground. It may be human nature, but I hated not being in control of my actions. Nonetheless, there I was, a sitting duck, just waiting for someone to come down the stairs. Except no one did. The seconds ticked on, but I was pretty definitively the only one here. Pretty definitively. <laughs> okay, oh, well, let's just check it out. That sounds like the smart thing to do. The mailbox was stuffed with vast quantities of tissue paper. The bottom layer of this stack had turned an unpleasant shade of brown. It may have just been from years of settling debris, setting debris, but if that were the case, it should have been it shouldn't have been that dark. Hmm. Uh, okay. There's gonna be a key. I slowly unwrapped the tissue, morbidly curious as to what I might find inside. It was only then that I noticed the inside of the mailbox itself, which was stained a deep crimson, it looked a whole lot like blood. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it didn't get me, I was just, you know, just pretending. I'd unwrapped enough by then to see what was inside the tissue paper too, it was the skeletal remains of a bird. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's just a birdy bird. Don't worry. Someone shoved a bird in there. That's pretty bad, though. Shoving a bird in a mailbox. On the rusted panel of the mailbox from which I discovered this gruesome find was a name scribbled in permanent marker, Shinozaki. Kizami. I just wanted to say that, sorry. It's... Okay, so you can't go anywhere here. The front door was obviously locked then, so we couldn't have gone there. Otherwise, why would we be able to go over to the side so easily, right? Oh, look at those faces. Oh my goodness, this isn't good. This isn't gonna end well. Shimodenjaku Apartments. Uh, Ayumi, don't yell out as someone there. Just leave, not leave, but like, go do your business and get out of here. Persistent use of your flashlight will eventually kill its battery. If this happens, you'll need to find a new battery and use it, or you'll be left in the dark. Oh, that? Okay. Well, can you tell me how, how I turn off my flashlight? <laughs> oh, it's always about going to the bathroom in these games. I gotta pee! No, Ayumi, don't be the new Yuka, please. Yeah, please hold it. Yeah, that... I don't know what's this obsession with talking about having to go to the bathroom, but then again, most games don't touch on that subject at all. You know, you play as Link through an entire Zelda game and he never takes a shit once. Okay, and you play for him for many, many hours. So I can't even go up here. What about this one? Let's just trespass. Door is rusted shut and won't open, as is a uh, horror affair. It's always rusted shut. The door is shut tight. Knock, don't do anything. Well, we got a knock, yeah? Of course. Sumimasen. <laughs> Sumimasen. Sunday home. There's a doorbell on the wall nearby. I'll press the doorbell. Pressing only produces clicks. Guess there's no power. Of course, this is run down. Let's just go in there. Can we? It's it's shut tight though. Open it. Yeah. Of course. I took a deep breath and mentally prepared myself for what I was about to attempt and grabbed the steel doorknob. Oh, that's that scared me a little bit too. <laughs> Unknown number. Oh god, no! Creepy noises abound. Here we go. Mushy, mushy. <laughs> don't go, don't go, don't go. Zero four two four 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 is a very unlucky number in Asian cultures. In Korean elevators, four, the number four is replaced with F. It's not, you never see a four in a Korean elevator. And I think it's the same in Japan too, but I'm not entirely sure. Because I've never lived there. The number disappeared from the screen as if the call had never been placed. Ayumi, after all you've gone through, you really just suspect, oh, my phone must be on the fritz. It's not on the fritz. There's supernatural shit involved here. Ayumi, please. Just think. Okay, let's just get in and get out. 
Oh, yeah, it opened. That's... Someone was trying to warn us against it, though. The phone was. Someone in the spirit realm was trying to warn us. But let's just go in anyway, sure. It's gonna be a party. She's still saying Sumi must send even after all that's happened. <laughs> Ayumi, if you're gonna go that route, you should just try to trick them. Be like, uh, hey, uh, pizza delivery? Did anyone order a pizza? Or something like that. Instead, you're looking like a trespasser, okay? <laughs> should I take off my shoes? It's dusty. It looks like no one's lived here for years. Should I take off my shoes? That's nah, okay. You're gonna be dirty at the end of this. <laughs> oh, God. I knew we should have gone the pizza delivery route. You should confuse the spirits. That works best, I find. Yes. Oh, what do you have? Okay. So you're gonna learn from your mistakes and record like a vlog or a radio log. Audio log. <laughs> Audio log makes more sense. Yeah, you've been through a lot. I'm sure you can do this. Although I'm sure something like this never really gets easy now, does it? Okay, before we progress, saving the game. Um, yeah, we got it. All completed. I wonder, does it say we're still on chapter zero here? Yeah, we're still chapter zero. I don't know how long this chapter is, but I'm gonna try to finish it. It seems like it wouldn't be that long. Like the prologue, you know? So let's just continue. Okay. So if Makina Shinozaki's dead... There doesn't seem to be anything of note on the shelves. The magnet, it f slipped down. There was a photo hanging from the freezer door. Can I see it? Though blurry and hard to make out, it seemed to be of a forest thick with mist along with one additional detail that made it much worse. A noose. Not a moose. I said a noose. You'll be fine, of course. It's just a noose. Then again... I was gonna say a noose would be a trigger, not for Ayumi though, it'd be a trigger for Naomi. Because Seiko was hung. Okay, let's just take some of her things. In the corner formed by the wall, the refrigerator and the sink, there's an extremely disturbing amount of mold growing. Just breathing the air nearby feels hazardous to one's health. There aren't really any signs of food anywhere, however, maybe Makina didn't eat much. Okay, that's the same. On the tiny kitchen table sat numerous prescription bags and instructions. The name written on every bag was Makina Shinozaki. Well, it definitely is. Okay, I guess there's nothing else here. I've explored everywhere in this room. Let's, uh, oh, hey! Thanks for, uh, telling me when there's an important item with a big shine. Items lying about can be obtained by examining them. There may be hidden compartments or spaces and shelves and such as well, so be sure to examine everything carefully. Okay, well, never mind. There will be hidden stuff as well. Okay, hey, let's look in the mirror first. I could see myself in the mirror. I looked worried. Yeah, of course you would. Whee! There's something lying on the table. I got batteries! That's good. I'm glad instead of going to the store to buy some, we just forage them from <laughs> abandoned buildings. 
It was a small white box made out of paper. So small, in fact, that it fit in the palm of my hand with room to spare. It was light as a feather, too. Open the box or put it- Open it! We're investigating! <laughs> Another dead bird. <laughs> Why? Oh, come on! I closed my eyes, put my hands together, saying a little prayer for the poor animal. I then left the box where it lay and got back on my feet. No, oh, you're mean. Drawers seem to contain only insurance documents as well as an official name stamp. Sashin! That's very similar to Japanese photograph. Sajin in Korean. Very similar to Korean, I should say. The top photograph on the stack depicted a young woman with a hairstyle decidedly not of the modern era. The next photograph showed a different woman smiling widely. Um, her clothes were actually quite beautiful and her eyes looked almost lifelike on the paper like they could suck you in. I flipped through each of the remaining pictures seeing mostly just more of the same until... <gasps> until... Makina, Raki, and Yoshie. Okay. So, who's Raki? Yep. Oh, is that Sachiko, that little girl? Lucky though. Lucky. That's weird. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe Yoshie was the daughter. Because it was a long time ago. I don't even know. But that would have been a very long time ago then. In the middle of the room, a twin-sized futon was neatly laid out. Its top cover was convex, just as it would be if someone were sleeping beneath it. In fact, that's exactly what it looked like, almost unmistakably. And right at the top of it sat a perfect cube of a box about 10 centimeters across on all sides and bright red like a Shinto toady gate. Which would have been a lot more interesting if I weren't still scared of my mind by the thought that there might have been someone under the cover this whole time. Never mind, Yoshie was the older one, the mother, because uh, Yoshie and Makina were sisters, weren't they? Okay, well this is what we've come for. Oh yeah, this is good. Don't be scared. Just grab it, and as soon as you grab it, you can run out of this horror, okay? Get out of here. Is it gonna be another dead bird, though? What are you doing? Oh, she's trying to open it. Uh-oh! That's not good! A ghost just farted. Yeah, we gotta get out of here! It was a silhouette of a human being, all black save for two perfectly round cutouts positioned halfway up the head, glinting with an unearthly light. There were no signs of life nor detail anywhere along the shadowy figure except in those eyes, but those eyes were very much alive, they were undeniably the eyes of a human. Yeah, this is the person who warned us to not go. Is this- Okay, we gotta- we gotta get out of here! Oh god, no! As if in response to my worst fear that I suddenly caught sight of a small girl in a black dress standing right in front of me. You, why, don't run towards the mirror. Hesitantly taking a closer look, it was actually me reflected in the mirror. But not just me, there was a black shadow behind me and it was coming closer! Don't look! Get out of here! Yay! I panicked and whirled around and my light immediately went out. Get out! I was completely shrouded in darkness as if whatever I had seen had fully enveloped me. Run out! No, you ran the wrong way! Oh no, your light went out! This isn't good, you're dumb! You can't feel your way out! I stepped on something soft and squishy. Unconsciously, I paused for a split second, pondering what it may have been, but my de facto conclusion was, I don't care, I need to get the hell out of here. I agree! It was probably the bird. Well, the bird was all bones anyways. Okay, get- Oh, uh oh, oh god. Feeling around the glass door's surface, I finally found what seemed to be a handle. I tried in vain to turn it, only to realize that I couldn't, because... Oh, 
I didn't have to ask though, I could feel it and see it. My right hand was being clasped shut by the tiny ghostly hands of a white-hued child. I shook my arm violently and the white apparition faded from sight. But my closed right hand still wouldn't open. I had to get out of there. That was a paramount. Clenched fist or no, I needed to leave before something worse happened. Panicked, I flung open the glass door. Well, Ayumi, this is what you get for taking your sweet time to get out. I hate to say it. Yeah, that's not good. This isn't good. Jump out the window. Oh no! I fell back completely sick to my stomach. My heart was pounding so hard and so fast I was convinced I was going to have a heart attack and die. At the very least, I knew I was about to lose consciousness. Oh, I'll, I'll get away. Don't give me a hug. I'm not ready for hugs. Oh. I don't want your free hugs! Oh no! As if to confirm just how done for I was, my nose began bleeding profusely. I had no doubt at all anymore. This was the end. We shouldn't have ever gone in here. Yoshiki, you're a badass. I love you. Oh, everyone's here. Kishinuma moved my worn, limp body onto the tatami flooring and carefully sat me up. I regained consciousness right away. And I was immediately met with the worried gazes of Kishinuma, Mochida, and Nakashima. Nakashima wiped tears from her eyes. I was so relieved, so very relieved to see my friends, I started crying as well. Exactly! You gotta work as a team, okay? I'm sure they would want to help you. They've been to Heavenly Host, you're not alone. Ayumi, you're so hard on yourself, you gotta stop that. Yeah, good idea. Man, Satoshi, you are awesome. I was sobbing like a baby, my face must have been a mess, and my voice came out hoarse and in short bursts. The voice acting is so good. まさか。お前一人で全部の責任を背負い込んでんじゃないだろうな。なあ。俺たちは仲間だろ。篠崎。仲間。I nah. like that in one piece. I sheepishly nodded my head, then looked down. I didn't want to meet his gaze. あよ。頼れよ。一人で突っ走んなよ。いいか。今ここではっきりさせといてやる。あんなもの。お前のせいなんかじゃねえんだよ。死ぬまく。お前は悪くない。だから。そんな風に自分を責めんなよ。死
残された俺たちはみんなでこの現実を受け止めていくしかないんだ受け入れるんじゃなくああ少しでも良くしていくためにできることをする Well now they're all in on this together they're gonna try to fix things Oh, they're gonna mess it up even more. It's this. Oh my. Oh, oh. <laughs> But then again, we wouldn't have a game if they didn't want to do this. So I'm glad you guys want to mess it up more so we can have more horrific situations. What? It sounded like he knew he didn't it? I didn't recognize the voice at all and was a little perturbed that no one else seemed startled by it. He belonged to a girl I'd never seen before wearing an unusual out- Okay, never mind. It's- it wasn't. I don't trust any of these new characters! I don't trust any of them! Look at that smile! That looks untrustworthy. I don't know. Shinozaki, you are in a bad place. Oh! Well, she kind of helped. Aiko! I love girls named Aiko! That was my favorite in Honey Pop! Aiko Niwa? The teacher was named Niwa too. Okay. Oh no, she's a friend of Naho. I had bad vibes already. Aiko, you're gonna heal it, aren't you? My right hand had been clapped shut this whole time. I'd almost forgotten about it. I tried to open it again, but still couldn't. Oh yeah, she couldn't open it. So she could do a really nice fist bump. Yoshiki, I, I, I don't trust you with it. Kishinuma grabbed my hand and tried to pry my fingers open. <laughs> when the time is right, that's... Aiko, that is super helpful. I like that. When the time is right, thank you. What's what? She attempted to open the box for just a moment, but her efforts proved to be in vain, just as mine were. Don't wink at me, Aiko! I don't trust you. Aiko was mesmerized by the unopening box. She seemed desperate to understand what force kept it sealed, almost giddy at the unspoken prospects of what it could mean. <laughs> I had the feeling this was less request than it was a statement. She would never have taken no for an answer. Okay. I don't trust her. There, there is no trust between us. That night, after I returned home, I stood in front of my mirror and just kept trying to open my right hand, put every bit of strength and energy I had into it. Sorry, this intense music started. I'm just trying to make it sound pretty intense. Wow, that that was easy. An anticlimactic. What? What I found inside my heretofore closed hand were teeth. Human teeth from the looks of it. Very small baby teeth, two of them. The roots of each tooth were embedded deep within my palm and I was bleeding quite a bit as a result. Oh, that's weird. That's not something you see every day. Oh, hey! Chapter 00, zero the end to be continued. Whoa! This. Oh my god, this game seems like it's gonna be awesome! I'm so excited to play more! And I really hope you guys are excited to see what happens next. I'm gonna try to record this frequently. I mean, it's Corpse Party. How could I not record it frequently? Oh, this is gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited. One sec, EVP entries for Hiroi Shinozaki have been unlocked. New Encyclopedia Obscura entries have been unlocked. Camera Obscura? 
W.I. Kisaragi, blah, 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 Grimoire, Sachiko Ever After. So this is basically, there's an encyclopedia that will explain things to us. Stuff that we already know from previous games. I'm pretty sure you guys, if you have been following the series, you won't need to see that at all. Would you like to save the system? Yeah, I'll definitely want to save this stuff. Okay, well, as is Corpse Party Fair, there's a name tag list. There's an ending list. I want to see the ending list. Maybe it'll show us how many chapters there are. So chapter zero, there's only one ending. Chapter one, there's two endings. There's probably a bad ending and a true ending. Well, that's cool. We're going to have to keep our eyes out for that. Whoa, it's going to be so cool. It's more corpse party. Oh, my God. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. In the next episode, we're going to do chapter one. I'm not too sure if we're going to do the whole thing. It'll probably be longer. Uh, if it's anything like Book of Shadows or the original corpse party, for that matter, these chapters tend to be about, like, three hours long. So I'm not too sure how many chapters are. I don't know much about this game. But, yeah, about, like, three to four hours per chapter. The longer ones tend to be almost close to five, four or five hours. And the shorter ones will be about two and a half. That's what it used to be like. Um, don't know if it'll be any different here, but oh my god, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, it helps me out immensely, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, guys, peace.